Hello out there, I want to talk to you about the single cheapest thing that you can buy to improve your photography. And the reason why I want to talk about this topic is a lot of times when I teach classes in person, I meet people who believe that any new doodad they purchase is instantly going to make their photos better. Now, experienced photographers, artists of all kinds know that making good work has as much to do with a good concept or your own personality or your own perseverance. Uh, oftentimes it has more to do with those things than it does the kind of gear you utilize. But since people want to buy things that will improve their photography, I'm going to talk about the number one thing that they should be getting, and that is a reflector. Reflectors come in many different sizes. They run between $10 to $30. They are simply round discs that have a reflective side. It could be a silver side, it could be a gold side, and if you get a five-in-one reflector, it has a diffuser inside it, and a black side, and a white side. So you can use this to bounce cold light, warm light, diffuse the light over your subject, block the light entirely. These are things that you can do with a reflector. By bouncing the light onto your subject, you're going to reduce or knock out the shadows. And in this way, you get your subject to stand out against the background. You are really saying, this is the most important thing that I want you to focus on. This has sort of like a special, almost holy lighting to it. There are certainly other things you can use as reflectors. Oftentimes I've used a large white piece of foam core, something that I could get from a craft store for a couple bucks. And you could also simply use mirrors or you can use the reflector that you put in your windshield to bounce light out of it so you don't overheat your car in the summertime. Some of these options are a little tacky to take out in front of other people. Some of them are uh, not very reasonable because they don't fold up or compact. In the case of mirrors, they're very fragile. And a photographic reflector doesn't cost a lot of money. You can get a small one that fits in your shoulder camera bag or your purse or backpack. You can get a large one that you can have in the trunk of the car at all times. Uh, these are non-mechanical devices. They just do one job. They do it great. And if you get a good one, you take care of it. You never, ever have to buy it again. There's a couple things, though, that make uh, reflectors impractical. The main one being that you need another human being to hold it, generally. They might have a loop where you can position it, but if there's a little bit of wind, uh, it's going to move around. If you just set it on the ground and have the light reflect onto your subject, you're going to get that sort of uh, Halloween campfire lighting. It looks really bad and unflattering, and you certainly can't aim it where you need to aim it. Most lighting that we see in our daily lives is coming from an overhead source, whether it's inside a building or outside with the sun, and we are used to seeing that. It's much more flattering lighting, so I recommend if you have a reflector and you're working with human subjects that you have another person along to hold that reflector. Now there are devices you can get to hold the reflector for you. These kinds of arms, I have owned many in my life and they've all broken. They've all been defective at some point. And if I'm outside, they're fairly useless because when you set up your light stand, you put your reflector arm on, you put your reflector in the reflector arm, all of a sudden you have a sail and any little bit of wind is gonna knock that over. Couple that with the fact that most of the time if I'm shooting a person, they're going to be moving around. Each time they reposition themselves, I need to reposition the reflector. It's much more effective to have another human being holding that reflector, moving it around as necessary. So there you have it. That is what I consider the cheapest thing you can buy to improve your photography. And I should note, it also improves your video because unlike flashes, this is going to be an always on light. If you go to the photo store and you see a bunch of cheap stuff by the counters, that is no different than when I take my kids through the checkout aisle at Target or the local grocery store. There's a lot of cheap stuff and you think, ah, oh, it's only a couple bucks, it might make my photography better. Uh, inevitably, it's a failure, it's something that will get lost in the car seat on the way home. Throwing your money at cheap doodads is not going to help your photography, but getting a little bit better lighting will. So if you don't have a reflector, I recommend that as your next photographic purchase. Thanks for watching. Subscribe for more creative tutorials, gear reviews and video art. Also check out our Patreon for weekly bonus videos and model photography sets.